Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy Gabby over here from Slap Punch Visuals. Back at it again. It's been a long time, but I'm back. I've been doing a lot of stuff, and today I am um, bringing you somebody over here to the channel with um, their indie manga, their indie series. It's an independent creator, my boy over here, Ephraim Broughton, the creator of Historia. So what up, Ephraim? Going good. How are you? Hello, everybody. Uh, it's been all right. It's been all right. Um, I had a long time without being on check with um, YouTube, but I got a lot of content that's coming up pretty soon. Um, I have a lot of pages. I have a lot of um, um, character designs that's coming out and a lot of different information that you can find after the read along. But today we're going to be doing the read along of Historia, which is, like I said, the creator, um, which is the writer. Ephraim Broughton, he has himself um, an artist that um, collaborates with him in this story to create this wonderful masterpiece. So before we start, um, is there anything that you want for the viewers to know, Ephraim? The viewers to know? Yeah, about Historia, like what to expect. Well, you're going to be expecting... Well, you're going to be expecting action, adventure, sci-fi, a bit of surprises here and there. All right. And that's all my, That's all I'm probably going to have to say, but you're going to have to post up your comments. <laughs> I don't want to spoil I, I ain't spoiling it. You already know it. Um, and around the end of the video as well, we're going to be having a couple of hints of a collaboration that's going to be coming out. And, yeah, stay tuned for that. So – let's start it off with historia now this is the very first page of how everything starts there's going to be a read along and i'm starting off right now okay so i see right here that the clock goes off and it rings and this is your main character alex she says oh no i'm going to be late for the final exam and then there's somebody yelling out yo alex hurry up and then he's out there what seems to be the front of her house He's sitting yes. down, kind of soaking. He's like, it's always the same thing with this girl. And then he kind of looks, and she's, like, running past him saying, Barry, you slow poke, keep up. <laughs> oh, man. So here you have it. And um, Baron says, we wouldn't have to run if you were on time, Alex. And then Alex says, whatever. And then this is a view of the city saying, good luck, honey. So is that Alex's mom? Yes. Okay. First of all, I just wanted to say this great artwork i'm not gonna lie to you i like the whole landscape and the whole everything for real yeah so it says right here today is the day i finally get get out of this place so i can become one of the king's guards and then um you see somebody down there who's like looking at them and then somebody points and says you a king's guard don't make me laugh everyone knows that your family's useless that's messed up <laughs> and then um i see her clenching her fist she says what did you say don't make me and then the dude says, but play your cards right, and you might be my servant someday. Damn. So right here we see Baron, and he says, Alex, come on, let him go. Besides, do you want to get expelled on the final day of the exam? She says, I hate it when you're right. Let's go. I'll show them. Okay, okay. That's a nice close-up, though, of the main character, man. I'm not going to lie to you on that one. Thank you. Oh, you know it. So right here, it seems to be... A teacher or a professor of someone he says yes. now since you all took the written portion of the exam it's time for the final part of the exam when i call your name come up and showcase your historia okay i see this so this dude is like engulfed in flames or something i don't know but that looks dope um this dude is doing like some type of i i mean i don't know what he's doing but it looks like some telekinesis yeah oh okay you see okay okay he, so he's doing some telekinesis and the third dude is doing like some type of lightning, right? Yes. Oh, okay. I would say water. It, it, oh, water? Yeah. Between water and lightning, it looks, yeah, it looks like both, to be honest. Oh, okay. All right. So then you have the professor with his head down. He says, Up next is, Al uh, up next is Alex, showcase your Historia. And she's sitting down right there. So, first of all, the Historia is like their powers, right? That's yes, the name for the powers, which is also the name of the show, Historia. So, yeah. Um, so she's sitting down over there anxious, and she says, all right, get ready to have your mind blown. And there's just some two random dudes there. <laughs> okay, so she's over here, and she has, like, a stick, a rod in her hand. Mm -hmm. And 
she's over here screaming ah and it seems like it transformed into a hammer and they say totally badass and then baron's over there looking with the puppy dog eyes saying she's so cool <laughs> <laughs> oh man he said with the puppy dog eyes you killed it with that shit. <laughs> oh you know it and then the the um professor yeah yeah he says okay when i call your name you've passed the test all right so we see alex over here with her head down um and the guy i think it's the professor that's saying jake mugen baron mcknight and that's it oh shit. so baron is over there looking kind of sad saying i'm so sorry alex maybe next year you can pass oh shit, she did not pass and then we see this dude which was the dude in the entrance says See, I told you that your family's story is a joke, but you can look forward to becoming my maid. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so she's over there pissed off and she says, take that back. I'll show I'll show whose family is a failure. I'll fight you for your position. And then Baron is back there saying, Alex, you can't do that. And then here comes the professor, slick ass dude, saying, I will allow it. Follow me, children, to the combat room. He just want to see these kids beat the living shit up. Yeah, them. boy. He, yeah. <laughs> Yo, what the for real? Yeah, oh, boy. He was like, okay, I'll allow it. Follow me, children, to the combat room. Oh, you know it. <laughs> man, he, man, you already know that's some Yu-Gi-Oh! vibe right there from Pegasus. I don't care what anybody says. Hell yeah. <laughs> so I think we see her with the rod in her hand, and she mm -hmm. transforms it into the hammer. And then I think that's the I think that's the professor. He says this time around she used her historia rather quickly. Is that the yeah. professor or is that yeah, yeah, Jake that's the Jake professor. Jake? Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. So he's still kind of like observing. Yeah. So here comes Jake. He says, Oh, you'll regret this, peasant. And then she's like, I'll make you eat those words, Jake. Ah, snap. So starts off, seems like this hold up. Okay, yeah. So it seems like he has a gun, a sniper to be accurate. So, okay, I see him over here aiming, and Alex, I think that's Alex's foot. She kind of, like, twists, and she jumps in the air, dodging the shots. The doof, doof, doof. And then you see him kind of surprised, and Alex hit the floor with, I guess it's her hammer, because she yeah. picked up the floor and stuff. Yeah, that's a mighty swing, dude. If she would have caught that motherfucker in his head, it would have been game over. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he would have been out of there. Hell, yeah. So here comes um, Jake over here. He says, already hiding amongst the rubble like the peasant that you are. You're making this easy for me. Perhaps you do like the idea of being my maid. This dude is still with the shit. He's still with the whole maid situation, huh? And she's like, keep your desperate dreams to yourself, Jake. Leave me out of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So I see Jake over here aiming through his scope, shooting a couple of shots, pow, pow, pow. Um, seems like he hits her in the face. She says, damn, that hurts. And over here, I, I think the dude is laughing. He's like, knowing you, you probably never showered. Damn. Perhaps after taking one, you might just look decent. Yo, that's a big ass this. And <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, man. And then she hits a rock. She says, screw you. Damn, she hit him in his chest. Woo. She caved his chest in. That motherfucker ain't going to get up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dude, roll it through the floor. Let's see the next page. Seems like this is the, the um kids in the public. Yeah. And says, come on, Jake. Beat the peasant girl's ass. Damn. Yeah. Take her down. And I think this is Baron says, come on, yeah. Dominic, stay on him and focus. Don't give him any breathing room. And then somebody else says, yes, take him down a few pegs. We all know he needs it all. Oh, so a couple of people don't like Jake. It seems like Jake is a smart ass, you know? Yeah. And then this dude, which was the same dude that was outside looking, he's still looking. That motherfucker's a window. Well, he looking and then he closes his eyes. He's like, mm, this ain't waste my time. Oh, dude is the ultimate window shopper. He just be looking. <laughs> <laughs> he said uh, the ultimate window shopper. He said he's just looking. Really? Damn. Okay, so the fight continues. I think that's another rock that Alex threw at him, hit him in the face, or so him dodging it. And then he kind of <laughs> looks kind of crazy. And she hits the hammer on the floor to create a big ass smoke screen. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. 
we see him standing outside the smoke screen and he looks up and Alex had like kind of jumped and she's in the air and he is aiming at her. I'm going to tell you the truth. It's kind of risky for you to just go and jump in the air like that. Because if the dude got a sniper, he's going to snipe the living shit out of you. You feel me? Yep. Yeah. Um, I see somebody here in the comments said, what's good? Hey, hey, what it is? What it do, boss man, 420? I, I think that's Kobe. Kobe Splash King. Yeah. What up, what up, Kobe? Kobe? Oh, okay, Kobe. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, so let's see the next page. We have Jake over here aiming. Yo, I'm not going to lie to you. The sniper looked dope. The sniper looked badass, man, for real. I, man, I like that. So we The have, gun or the person? The sniper. I mean, both of them, but the sniper <laughs> is crazy. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it seems like he shot her. Damn. Uh, the, the, the damn arms. Woo! He gave her two shots in the arms. Bam! bam sit down. So she went into the floor. She's kind of looking up, and she's getting up. Damn, he shot her in the hand, and then he shot her across the face. Yo, but that shot went through her motherfucking hand, though. That's crazy. Then over here we have the teacher, and like, and the winner of the match is Jake. Dude, you already know what was going to happen. Like, <laughs> yeah, but he's not excited. Look at him. Yeah, like, Aw. Oh, dude already knew what was going to happen. So Jake, I think that's Jake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Jake. He says, damn, what a match. And the kids are looking like, yeah, I knew you were going to win. Oh, snap. I don't know. For a second there, I thought Alex was going to win. Yeah, because she was kind of beating his ass. And then here comes Baron running like, Alex, don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. I'll take you to the doctor's office. Oh, snap. Okay, so it seems like some time has passed and the professor's looking and she had just woke up. And the professor's in there, um, and he's like, even though you lost the match, you showed great tactics, and your historian responded quickly. So congratulations. You passed the exam. Oh, snap. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. I won't lie, man. His hairdo is really balling, bro. Look at that shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It is. <laughs> I'm jealous now. I want hair like that. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> and then Baron's like, you hear that, Alex? You passed. And she over there about to cry and shit. Yeah, finally. And then the damn professor's like, a week from now, I want you to meet me at the town square at 9 o'clock sharp for the graduate festival. Don't be late. Oh, that's some Naruto vibes right there. We go into the festival. I'm trying to see some Usumaki Barrage. Nah, nah. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> so... Baron's over here saying, great job, Alex. Now I don't know about you, but let's... Okay, okay, great. Okay, so he's like, great job, Alex. Now I don't know about you, but let's go. Then she's like, yeah, I'm with you on that. Oh, snap. Seems like they're at the festival, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, so it seems like they're at the festival somewhere. Because I see a whole bunch of people. I see, like, some vendor at the back and everything. Yep, that's and, it right there. Yeah, that's a good shot right there. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, so Baron is like, Hey, Alex, I've been curious. Why do you want to become a King's Guard anyway? Exactly. That's what I want to know. What is the whole King's Guard situation? But you know, I'm pretty sure that we're going to find out because they keep mentioning it. it. Says right here, Well, you know that I'm about to tell you. Ah, oh, you see, right there and then. Um, the more powerful your historia, the more your status grows. Okay, so basically, the more powerful you are, the better placement you're in in life, probably. So for me being a King's Guard, not only does it help me, but I can also prove to everyone that you can become something. Okay, I see. So Baron says, that's a great goal to have, Alex, and I support you all the way. And then he says, um, oh, um, it's made of criminite ore. Or, okay, 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 it says, it's made of criminite ore. You can extend it into a staff. Or you can detach it and then um or you can detach it and can have two so i'm pretty sure right after that comes this panel where it says i got you a gift and then um he says better than the pipe that you have right and then she's like baron you didn't have to oh snap dude came with a gift of, of kuramite i don't know what's kuramite or but i'm pretty sure it's better than the piece of crap fucking pipe she's been just <laughs> 
You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> Plus, it detaches into two. Okay, all right. Which I can assume that his that her historia is turning pipe or iron or metal into a hammer. You feel me? Yeah. So, so let's keep going. Um, he says, don't say anything as your friend take it. Ah, oh, snap. You see, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I, I knew Baron had them fills, B. I knew Baron had them fills. You can't tell me no. Ah, oh, here you go with that again. <laughs> yeah, I told you from the beginning. I said, you see the dude, dude, doodles with the puppy dog eyes, and now look at him. I'm telling you, he says thank you. I'll make it up to you. Now let's go and celebrate. Baron trying to celebrate, all right. <laughs> <laughs> How come I knew you were gonna say that? Yeah. Let's do right here, boy. Yeah, you know it's the truth. Yeah, I mean, so he gonna celebrate all right. <laughs> oh, you killing me. Oh. Okay, so this has to be the town square or the town circle. You know, town square is like the middle of the town. So yeah. Says today on this fine festival morning, that's probably an announcer or something. Yeah, we will showcase a few matches of this year's classmates against each other. When I call your name, you will come to the circle. The first match will be between Edward Black and Alexandra Pierce. So Alexandra Pierce is who? Um, Alex, right? Alex, yes. Okay, let's find out who's Edward Black. A member of the Black family. Okay, so here's all the people over here screaming. A member of the Black family. Wow, what the hell? This isn't a match. It's overkill. And she's over there looking kind of, I don't know, scared for her life. Grabbing on that coramite ore pipe. That Baron about to lay down the pipes. And <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so the dude, the window shopper, it's uh, what was Edward. again? Edward, Edward. what? Black. Edward Black. Edward Black. Okay. So it says right here, let the fight begin. And they're both staring each other down. Whoa, he's staring her down. She's laughing. She about to get her ass whooped. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, man. So, bam. Over here, we see both of them kind of like squaring off to each other. Woo, Edward coming with that mean vibe. Dude came out with the darkness of the dragon flame. <laughs> darkness, of the darkness of the flame. dragon flame, bro. Ooh. Ooh. He, got that he ain't going on. So it seems here he springs forward and snuffs the living shit out of her. All oh, snap. And I think he hits her again in the stomach, jabs her in the jaw, Woo. and then kicks her, I think it is. Yeah, I believe that's a kick, a kick to the stomach. Bam. She already coughing up blood. Oh, whoa, hold up. This shit going crazy. So she coughing up blood and she's on the floor grabbing on that Kuramite ore. And here comes Alex. I mean, Alex. Um, here Edward. comes Edward. He's like, nah, ain't nobody leaving no, leaving no pipe foundation for me. So he threw away the old <laughs> pipe. He about to give her the new one. <laughs> he about twisting that arm. Yeah, I, yeah, I see that. So he's grabbing onto her arm. She over there screaming, woo! Let me go! Let me go! <laughs> this dude right here. This dude right here. Ooh, you know it. Over here, I think, ooh, I think it's a barrage of attacks onto Alex. Oh shit, she can't even block. She say, "Oh, where he coming from?" Flat, bam, right in the face. Woo! She starts flying, scratching. Edward, let me let me be born. <laughs> Edward ain't leaving her, man. Edward ain't letting her breathe. He has a reputation to stand up on. And I see right here, he's doing some type of power. I don't know what type of power that is, but it looks like that dragon of the darkness flame from where he started off. He's about to catch her. It's game over. So he goes and he's like, Hadouken! Nah. Oh, <laughs> that, I'm that's that, yo, that's that Exodia. Obliterate! <laughs> oh, that's that Kaiba where he was like, no! You <laughs> you. <laughs> bro, that bro, Kaiba. bro, Kaiba was staring at his god when Exodia came out of there. So, Ooh. yeah. Ooh. Kaiba couldn't believe it. <laughs> his life flashed before his eyes and everything else man you know it man so it seems here he did his power which i still don't know what what, what, what his power is what is his power even it's basically like it's like sting okay so it's kind of like a combination of you know just hot fire and water come you know together yeah and it's an offense and defense 
And like you said, like he sprinting earlier, he used it up to, you know, oh. boost himself. So he's kind of like a, um, he boosted him. He's boosted his speed and he can boost his power. So he get up in there and he give you them hand just like he gave Alex. Okay, I see. I see. It's kind of dangerous, man. I'm yeah. Not gonna lie to you. So it seems here he did like some type of wave of of steam. Yeah. And, and hit her with it. Woo! So that got to fucking be hotter than a motherfucker. Damn. And he's over there. It's like she ain't shit. And the winner is all oh, you. I knew she was gonna get ass. Well. Oh, hold up, hold up. Here comes the hammer. <laughs> So she popping up with the hammer. She hit the floor again. Oh, she on that routine technique. Hit the floor. Can't see me, motherfucker. <laughs> Damn. She hits the floor. A whole bunch of dust pop up. Seems like she's walking out the dust, feeling herself like, yeah, you about to get it. Oh, snap. So she comes out. Edward's looking like, oh, snap. And I hear the tap, 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 tap. I don't know who's running. I don't know if that's him or her. But she come out the steam trying to swing at him. It, it seems that like he dodges back or he hits her. Um, I mean, or she hits him. I don't really know. But I think he dodged back. And then he says, you think that changing your weapon is going to defeat me? Okay, so it seems that like he dodged. She over there styling on him like, we won't know until we find out then. Exactly. You don't know if I'm missing that last piece and I just got it? Yeah. <laughs> so I already got the... I already got the four pieces. I just want this one more piece. Oh, you know it. So he over there scuffing on the floor, trying to charge up and shit. Oh, yo, I'm not going to lie to you. He looked dope as hell like that. So he over there with the dragon and the darkness flame. You know, let me stop saying dragon and the darkness <laughs> And people are going to people going to start believing that. He over there with his steam coming out. Rocks are flying up. And it seems here that um, Alex swings at him, but she misses. Yeah. And then we have um, Edward over here swinging at her. I think he misses, and then she swings at him, and she misses. Okay, so it's a back and forth dive. Back and okay. forth. Yeah. I see. I see what's going on. That that's that DBZ stuff. But if you look at that bottom panel, it's like he's smiling. Just look at his oh, yeah. face. Oh, look yeah. at his face. Oh, he's yeah. like, mm, I'm enjoying this way too much. <laughs> you know that MC Hammer, man. You can't touch me. Man, he's over there window shopping. Man. He's <laughs> like, yeah, this is boring. Now I'm actually enjoying myself. This may not be boring as I thought it'd be. Okay. You know it. You know it. So, bam. Seems like she swings at him. No, no, no. He swings at her. I think that's the steam. Yeah. Pretty sure that's the steam. Okay, so he throws some steam, which clashes with her and, and drives her into the ground and then he over there looking all smirky like call the match because any further and i might kill her you better call the match right now and then the <laughs> and then the announcer is like the winner of the match but nah alex is getting up yo she's all messed up too damn she's like the match isn't over until one of us yields and so far i haven't yielded yet Woo! She on that gong freaks. She getting back up. So the dude is like, you're running low on Historia, young lady. There is no shame in losing. She's like, nah, I have everything to gain in winning this match. Historia or not. Yeah, dude trying to what? Man, she trying to win this shit. Fuck that. She already got an L from Jake. She ain't trying, yeah. to, no she ain't trying to catch no double L. <laughs> ain't no chicken wing Tuesday. Ain't no two piece for one ninety nine going on. Man, that, man, man, ain't no, there ain't no two piece for you in here. You, you catch the L again, you, you catch that it. L again. You ain't getting no two piece again. Hell no. So let's see. Yo, yo, but she's really messed up though. So bam, he's like, that's funny coming from someone that doesn't have any power left. Coming from someone that relies on their power too much. What will do if it runs out? Ooh, will you sit on hands and fight to recharge? <laughs> Yo, what the? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you tripping. You <laughs> Whoa, what the hell? She said, I will prove to you and everyone here that you can do something without your historia. Oh, yeah. She on that underdog course. If you're eager to get humiliated, then be my guest. And she's like, funny, I was just about to say the same thing to you. Woo, that's that DBS vibe right there. 
and the crater with the rocks and the dude. Okay, okay, I see, I see. So she detaches the rod. Woo! She about to give him them hands. She's running towards this dude, and she's like, pow, 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 pow. He's like, oh, shit, I didn't see it coming. Hit the motherfucker in the knees. Let him fall. I'm telling you. She ain't, man, she ain't playing around. Woo, look at his face. Headbutts. Woo. She grabbing him with everything. Woo. He's on the floor already crying. She's like, yo, dude is already, yo, is he crying? Is he no. really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that Frieza and Vegeta oh, shit right there. They that's that Frieza. <laughs> they looking like, oh, are you crying? <laughs> You're like, no, you're crying. <laughs> I was just messing around, but now I actually feel bad. No, oh, that's what I'm saying. And oh and, man. So he's like, no, but we all know he's crying. Damn, he gets slapped across the face with that Cormanite or the pipe laying baron. Woo! He's up in there. So bam, she knocks him out to his back. To be honest, to be honest, if you get hit across the face with the pipe, I know you're in some damn pain. Oh, oh damn, right. So she knocks him onto his backside and she's looking at him, just styling on him, like, B, this ain't your day. She starts running or she jumps. See, okay, so so seems like she ran, got on his chest, hit him in the face with the pipe, and she's like, yield. He's all bloody. Oh, the dude gave up. Woo! I'm not going to lie to you, though. I feel it. He was getting his ass whooped. Even I'll give up my damn self. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. She laid them hands on Edward. I don't know. She Edward was laying them hands, too. Yeah, I know. But around the end, she came with a two-piece combo, dude. It was game over. Yeah, it was game over. It was Tuesday for her, and she had enough money for a couple of chicken wings. It was game. Hell over. yeah, she gotta get. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't getting that other. Du- she ain't getting that other L. That's for sure. Oh, you know it. So right here, oh, here comes the announcer smiling like Edward yields, and the win goes to Alexandria. Oh, everybody in the crowd like that's incredible. A person of noble blood was beaten by a nobody. Damn, bro, the dude is look, bro, his eyes is about to pop out of his skull. Look at him, they look yeah. like oh, nigga. <laughs> and then the other dude over there jumping on the fucking bandwagon, talking about some that isn't just a nobody, that's Alexandra. Man, you don't even know her name before the fight, and he's <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna jump on his bandwagon before you, though, that's for sure. <laughs> And she over there just styling like, ah, oh, and everybody in the crowd like, Alex, 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 oh, snap. Yo, ain't that the same dude with the beanie that was in class? The random dude, it looks like him. And then Baron is right next to him. Oh, snap. So, bam. So, who is this? I think that's the announcer. He's like, yeah. now that the first match is over, let's move on to the second match. Oh, snap. Who are these two people? Oh, snap. Uh- what? Uh, I'll let you find out, yo, guy. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So, boom, Dante and two people in the arena, and it seems like this fire or meteor is coming on to Earth, which that looks crazy because I like that take right there. It looks dope. So, what's happening? Let's see. It's already nighttime. Damn, it's already nighttime. Thundering and everything. No, no, no. It's, it's still daytime. It's just. It shifted to dark. Yeah, uh, like an eclipse yeah, eclipse. yeah, it, it's like it's like some eclipse. I guess when there's with that, with yeah, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna affect the uh, weather like that, yeah. Okay, I see. So it started thundering, lightning, rain falling, people outside. It's like, what is that? Look, look, do you see that? Has the, the sky is on fire. fire, and then he's like, it's heading this way. Oh, snap, they're afraid. Dude at the back over here, towards the right at the bottom panel looked like his eyes about to pop out of his motherfucking sockets too that's crazy nah he looking like oh such beauty <laughs> i may die but i will captivate this oh snap so here comes people running in the streets oh snap oh your majesty we are under attack giant balls of fire are headed this way okay so this might be the so, okay so this is the your majesty it says balls of fire so that's the king and yep. his eyes get kind of crazy looking. Oh, snap. First of all, the king looked ripped as hell. 
He looked like somebody that could come from the Superman lineage, and he about to lay them hands. Lay them hands, but to Yo, be honest, I like that outfit. Like? Who? He, uh, uh, um, 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 this dude, what was his name? Captain Marvel. Captain a little Marvel. bit, you know, not saying that he's exactly Captain Marvel, but yeah, but well, it gives I, me vibes of Captain Marvel. Okay, to not be honest, I never really, I never really thought of Captain Marvel when you yeah. said that. Yeah, okay, man, it gives me vibes of Captain Marvel. I won't lie, you man, know, I like that outfit. That, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that shit looks dope as hell. So, let's see what's going on next. He's looking out the window, he's like, No, it couldn't be them. Gather all of the people in the city to the town square immediately. And then I think these are the royal guards or whatever. She's like, but your majesty, don't question my decision. Do as you're told. Go. Yes, sir. Ethan got a whole, whole crazy brigade out here. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see, town square. I think that's somebody on the cell phone, right? It seems yeah. Like like, they huh? panicking and everything. And then people walking by. Oh, nah, you know he drank some, 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 um, some, um, damn Bacardi. Hell he on, yeah. He on a styrofoam cup, Baron. You know he drank it. <laughs> <laughs> this dude right here. You know he getting it. He said he on a styrofoam <laughs> cup. The sky's on fire. Hell lightning yeah. and everything. Man, get me that Bacardi, man. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, this shit ain't ruining my day. He over here sipping on gin and juice. He don't give a shit. Well, well if it... <laughs> Well, he's saying it, if it's my, too, he just a whoop. boy, it boy, he's saying it too. If it's my last day, I'm a party it up. Damn right. So we see the people over here walking. I don't know who this dude is. Who is this dude? Let me see. That okay, so that might be one of the guards. Yeah, because he says, Everyone to the town square immediately. This is the direct order from our king. To the town, um, I mean, to the square, hurry. So, so yeah, so he has to be one of the yeah. king's guards. Yeah. Okay, so this is what Alex wants to be then, a king guard, which is like somebody, you know, the forces of the king. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I see, I see. So, bam, um, everybody over there walking around. And they're like, what's going on? Why are we gathered here? Man, shut up. <laughs> the king, <laughs> over there, king over there on his porch, he's like, it's time. I told you the truth. Oh, snap. The king did something shady, and now it's coming out to light. You shouldn't have done it, my dude. They're going to give you, <laughs> you want another years to life. They're going to give you 15 years to life. They told you about doing that crazy shit. No, nah, they. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man, I'm messing around. It's okay. So let's see. Oh, okay. Kind of like a flashback moment. Mm -hmm. Says, long ago on my home planet of Helios. There was a strong debate brought up by the supreme leaders. They were brought to make a choice between life and death of six individuals. These individuals were seen as something bad and that they will lead to the destruction of Helios with the power to create living organisms with their own mind and will, making their creation so unpredictable that it was seen as a taboo. Oh, snap. Okay, okay, I see that. I see the butterfly, though. That looks dope. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, now we're seeing some other hand. First, it was the darkness hand was the, was the butterfly. Now it's the white hand with, like, death. Damn. Says, so the six people made their case and told the supreme leaders about their power and how it would be useful to everybody. The leaders made their choice and decided that it would be best if they sentenced them to death. Damn. So the group of six came together and fought off the army alongside their creations that ultimately paid the price with their lives so that their creations can get away in a ship. Oh, snap. Oh, 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 hold up. So that their creators can get away in a ship. Yeah. So basically, the creations that they created gave up their lives so that their creators could get away in the ship. So kind of like, you know, if, you know, if you were to say, they're kind of like garden. So it's kind of like another King's guard, but like the very first generation. Of yeah. The, the prototypes. Guard. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I see. Then it says escaping the planet Helios, they crash landed on, on a distant planet with strange creatures and flora, which then they decide to make their, um, make it their, their new home. And call it Earth. 
each creator separated and went to distant lands on earth, spreading their wonderful power of life and created the species known as mankind. Damn. Ephraim awesome. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm not going to lie to you. The backstory kind of spicy. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Okay, so it's the king back again. He's like, so you see, the army of Helios is coming to Earth to seek us out and destroy us. Oh, snap. Yes, I will fight with all the power that I have. So will I. People, man, ready to lay their life for this dude. We have to defend our king. A no second more. time. <laughs> they don't even know if this dude is lying or not. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on another level. They don't even know if this dude is lying or not. (laughs) And then we see somebody clenching their fists all mad. Also, me as well. And the king is like, I appreciate your courage, but this isn't the time to die needlessly. What? what? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Needlessly. My bad. I said that all messed up. So here's somebody, which I don't know who that person is. Simon. Kind of dope. Okay, okay, Simon, come here. Yes, my lord. I've chosen you because of your historia. I want for you to take all of the people and create a dimension when you can store them until the fight is over. Woo! He says, but sir, it's already said, Simon. The people, hey, I see that. It's already said, Simon. Simon says. Simon says. (laughs) (laughs) Think about it. Think about it. Oh, man. Nah, okay, okay. It said, it's already said, Simon. The people are going to need a new leader. Lead them. I told you, you are wise enough to do that, Simon. He's on the Simon Says shit. That's what he's on. (laughs) He's on another level. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we see like a crash. And I believe these are the aliens. And I don't know. They look dope as hell. See you that much. They they look kind of menacing. They they look like they could just... Fucking just yank your throat out. That's great. To, to be to be honest, yeah. That's oh, some yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm looking yeah. at the tall one on the right though. Oh yeah, of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Oh, okay. So we see his eye or her eye or whatever it is. It's eye. We've arrived. I have readings on their power. Lieutenant. Search up, well, Lieutenant, search out the six and destroy the six traders alongside their creations. Woo! It's game over. Yes, sir. Right away, Commander. There is no escape. Oh, my God. All hell about to break loose up in this motherfucker. Boy, it ain't that ominous. Yeah. Look so at he- him. Look, look at him looking at the city, boy. He's like, mm, the carnage I'm about to inflict. <laughs> That's, that's what I'm saying. And the king over here is just like, oh, feeling himself. They've landed. Simon, quickly take everybody with you. And here comes one of the king's guard. Your majesty, we will stay behind and protect you. And then he's like, no, you will. Okay, no, you will all go with Simon. And then somebody over there crying, which I don't know who's crying. He's like, we've made up our minds. If we die, we died doing what? What? Okay, okay, okay. We die doing what love to do most. Yeah, and that's fighting in your glory. Okay, I see, I see. So they really, really ride or die over here. So they Addis some, over there. What? Yeah, they some gangsters, boy. They said, man, we riding or dying for real. Oh, you know it. Alex over there about to cry and stuff. like, <gasps> And then somebody grabs her arm, which I don't know who that dude is. But that's it, the father, yo, Oh, okay, okay. So that's the father. I see. And Simon over here charging up a crazy ass energy blast, and he throws the big ass white ball thing. Okay, so that got to be his historia, yeah, the one that locks them up or something like that. Yeah. Okay, and we see all the people over here crying, even the little girl, people on the floor crying. Farewell, our kitten. We we always remember you. And then uh, um, the the father's grabbing um Alex's head over there. And then the and then the light is coming across her face, and then he's grabbing. I think he's grabbing her by the arm. Says, "Don't worry, it will be all right." And she's like engulfed in like some white light. And that's the end. Why you left me in that cliffhanger? What's Wait, up? Wait, that's you, it. Bro? Yeah, that's it. 
Why what you mean that's it? Cliffhanger. Why you? No. <laughs> hey, I'm not gonna lie to you. I want to know what happens next. I already want to know what the hell happens next. Because you I left. I thought I gave it to you, Yoga. No, no, no. Hey, it's all right though. It is what it is. Okay. You know, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm loving the story. The story's nasty. The story's nasty. Hand down. <laughs> The dialogue between the characters, everything that happened so far is nasty. It is nasty. Oh my God. Um, so yeah, man, I got a lot of things to ask over here. I, I just don't know where to start. Um Woo, hell of a story. <laughs> Calm down. Well, 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 let it process first. Let it process yeah. first. Yo, first of all, I like how everything begins, right? It's kind of like a story of um, this girl trying to like come up in life, right? Yeah. Basically, that's what it is. And she even says it that she's trying to get famous, you know, that she's trying to come up because basically the poorer you are, the less your history are, because the less you could do for the king. Like at this moment right here, we can really tell why they want powerful people with historia. Cause look at where the police, FBI, CIA agents rolled up on them. Like, yeah, we found you for that IRS fraud that you've been doing. <laughs> you feel me? So that's one thing. So I can see why they always want the best historians around to become the king's guard. Because at the end of the day, if your power is, I don't know, sprouting flowers, you know, you, you ain't going to protect the king. <laughs> you are, I'm sorry. You ain't protecting the king by sprouting no flowers. Oh, my God. But, yo, I, I like the fight scenes. I like the background. I like the characters. Every character looked different. I like the attitudes to the characters. I like how you just switched up everything in, in the backstory. Oh, man. The backstory is on another level. Yo, like, you know, these six creative people, they from another planet. Aliens was even introduced in the game. Woo! A lot. It's a lot to process. A lot went down, but it went down dope, though. I'm not gonna lie to you, it went down though. I like it. I like it. There's nothing negative, man. From my part, there's nothing negative that I could say about this story. It's pretty okay. dope, man. It is, it is. Well, thank you, so, yoga. Yeah, first of all, um, a question that I want to give you. How the hell you came up with this, man? Like, what's good? How like like like, like what drove you to do this? Oh man. <laughs> I would say this is kind of like, I would say this is like, to be honest, I would say a lot, but I can't really be honest with you. It was a lot that drove me and it wasn't even, and I, and you know, I was looking like, okay, it goes like this. It wasn't really a lot, but you know. Me, I'm really a reader. You know, I read books and stuff. So yeah. I'm looking like, you know, a thought. You know, the thought always crosses my mind. You know, you can always do your own story, but I didn't know how to do your own story. I've seen people write their books, but I'm looking like, okay. I say, right. I say, writing is a bit more. I say, writing is to me at first it was kind of hard, but then when you got to reading stuff. It became easy. I mean, to be, I wouldn't say e it became easy to me because, you know, I have a whole shelf full. So, oh, snap. Okay. Yeah. So, so it, it really fell in it, after that. It's just the characters, the tones, the setting, you know, is making you feel like you watching it from the person's point of view. Yeah. So you kind of like, so it's kind of like you watching a movie that's basically like that. Or a TV series, however you look at it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, um, are you inspired by any anime, by any movies, by any anything? Cause oh, my. This, this was crazy. <laughs> okay. To be honest, I am inspired by a lot of anime. You already know Dragon Ball Z was. Everybody know Dragon Ball Z. Then there's Yu Yu Hakusho. Ooh. Then then there was Naruto. Then you have 
I wouldn't say One Piece because there's so much One Piece. It's not even ridiculously funny. But, yeah, I mean, there was a lot of anime that inspired me, especially stuff with sci-fi. A lot of the things with sci-fi and action-adventure, Lord of the Rings, Transformer, all that. that, that, that. I mean, yeah. Okay, I see. I had a, I had a lot of stuff that inspired me, so. Yeah, that's dope, man. That's dope. So, how did you come across with your artists? Well, I would say is, is that my nephew, Vinsoir, he wow. was saying something about Fiverr. And at that time and point, I didn't know what Fiverr was. I'm looking like, what is Fiverr? And then he explained it to me, you know, there's artists that do stuff, you know, for you. You know, they can draw your um stuff. And basically make it like a graphic novel. And I was looking like, oh, okay. At first, he put it back in my hand and I stored it. And then I'm looking like, okay, a week later, I'm looking like, okay, I'll just go in here and see. And that's how I ran across Fiverr and ran across the artist. Uh, um, hold on, what's her name? I had it. Okay, Jer Jerk Cake. Jer Jerk Cake. Okay, I didn't want to butcher it because there's an A in it. But yes, Jerk Cake. But yeah, that's how. Let, let me see if I can pull it up on the screen share. Um, let me remove this. Share screen. Jerk. 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 Okay, hold up. Share screen. Okay. <clears throat> let's see if I can. Okay, so it lets me share the entire screen. Um, Chrome tab. Okay, so I can share this. All right. Can you see it? Yep, that's her. Okay, so this is Jurgak. Or Jurgak. I'm not trying to butcher her name. You feel me? Yeah. This is her right here. This is the um, artist that you hired for Historia, correct? Yes. Okay, I see. She has a good rating. She, she has five out of five stars, 5.0, 56 reviews. So, yeah, so she goes in. She's a level two. I don't know what's a level two, but... I don't know what level two is to be honest. She has a good. She got yeah, some good. She got some good art. Yes, yes, yes. Um, man, I'm not trying to sign in. It was good. Like, <laughs> 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 but yeah, but as you can tell, of course she has good art because you saw what she did on Historia. Mm -hmm. Now you're seeing all of this, and yeah, she's very, very talented. I like that Goku. I'm not gonna lie to you. So yeah, so let's give a shout out to Jerkak over there. Um, hopefully, I'm not butchering, butchering. her name. Yes, like I said. So yeah, okay. So um, leave a comment down below, you guys, and let me know what you think about Historia. To be totally honest, um, I know Historia was fire and it's going in, but now um, I want to speak about a little something that's coming along the way. Um, I've been away from live streaming for a while and that's because i've been doing a lot of work and what i mean about a lot of work i mean about a lot of work um currently i already have the next chapter of me the mumby up and running which i am going to be um grayscaling soon on the channel i am going to start up um a regimen so i want to start live streaming um pretty much um casually right um, consistently, which is the word I was looking for. And I want to start live streaming at least two times a week. So at least two pages per week. And um, I'm going to start that. I, I just have to pick the days which I want to live stream and I'm going to keep to the schedule. And um, But I have a lot, a lot, a lot to uncover. Um, so first of all, what I want to say, um, Me the Mumby is almost done for book one of production. So that's a good thing. Um, you would be able to pick up the physical book very soon because it's getting hectic. Me, the mummy is getting crazy. And I want for you guys to know what's up with the story, even though we've done a read along already of the first three chapters. Um, a lot of the fight scenes, I have updated it as well. So look out for that. A lot of pages I've updated as well. And of course, I've added a whole bunch of pages to it. 
alongside of been writing the script, changing the script, and changed a couple of things up. So there's a lot of crazy stuff going down. Um, on top of that, I want to announce that I've been doing character designs for two different occasions. I've created over 50 characters in the time that I was out, very unique looking characters. And um, that is for a project that I am going to start doing called Strata Crusher, which is going to be my own TCG series graphic novel style, which is a trading card game made up the rules and everything. So that's another project that I'm very, very excited for. And another thing is that there's going to be a graphic novel movie. And I know that sounds a little weird to be graphic novel movie, but it's basically, you know, kind of like how the animes have their own movie adaptations. It's going to be the same thing. But, you know, of course, since we don't have anime, it's going to be in book format. So that's why the title graphic novel movie. Um, but it's going to be in collaboration with yours truly, Ephraim Broughton. So hey. you are, yeah. So you guys are going to be seeing Mumby, my original character, interacting yeah, with Alexandria or Alex for short of his yep. story, getting into some real crazy situation i'm going to be giving out the character designs um shortly as well because i because i'm going to be coloring them live stream so you guys can see <laughs> the villains and the uh, heroes that come out in this movie um, i'm not really going to go too much of the plot but it's called the unspoken king so Ooh. that is yeah i know it sounds crazy and the uh, story is nuts. I'm just letting you know right now. The story is nuts. It gets dark really quick as well. It's crazy. That's the to only be thing. honest. The type, the name itself, the unspoken king. Yes, yes, man. It's some, um, it's some real crazy Ooh. situation. The unspoken king. Like I said, collaboration. You're, you're gonna see Mumby and you're gonna see Alex doing a whole bunch of shenanigans and doing a whole bunch of crazy stuff and getting them hands up in there, you know, hand and rod. Oh, so, yeah. So, yeah, stay tuned for that because I am going to be doing the the um, coloring for the characters that I've already designed live. Um, so, yeah, that and, of course, the pages of mine as well. So that was the big surprise. Um, That's good. What happened? That's great right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So That's that was the great big surprise. News. Yeah. And, you know, the whole keeping a constant schedule for the channel. Um, in a few days, I will be showing you all the stuff that I have done between the Strata Crusher designs, the, the designs for the Unspoken King, the um, pages for me, the Mumby, and toning them and everything. I'm going to be showing them. I'm going to be showcasing that. And we're going to start getting into a whole bunch of different crazy stuff. And there's going to be regular live streams, like I said, two times a week. And I am going to choose the days in which I'm going to live stream. And I'm going to be consistent with it. Like I said, I had a lot of things going on. That's the reason why I had to fall back a little bit. But we're here. I am getting on to the live stream thing. And I also want to say thank you to a lot of people. Because by the time that I stopped um, doing live streams, I think it, I think I got like three months without doing live streams. Um, I've gotten a lot of subscribers. Um, I, 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 I don't know where you guys are coming from. You guys are probably seeing the videos and subscribing. You know, and if you are doing that and that's how you found me, you know, I just want to say thank you a lot for giving me the opportunity um, to show you and share my creation with you. You feel me? So, yeah. Yeah. So I think that was like 30 plus subscribers between that time period, which is very good. Very good. We're going up slowly, but surely with the most awesome subscriber cast that exists on YouTube. And you already know it. If you like me, the mummy, you're the shit. Tell me, and when I mean you're the shit, I mean you're that dude. <laughs> nah, I'll take so, it, you. Oh, you know it. Same thing with the people that like Historia. Come on, we all know you like Historia. You saw the fire that this guy came with. You cannot extinguish it. What Edward Black coming in, dodging up with the steam in his hands? Come on, I know you like that. I know you like yeah. that gameplay. Well, oh, yeah. And he did the Exodia pose too with that and hand. <laughs> <laughs> you said dra- you said darkness of the dragon flame. I see Exodia. I don't know oh, which yeah. one is worse. <laughs> oh yeah, you know it. You know it. But yeah, guys. Um, if you guys want to hit up, um, Jergak, um, Jergak. I'm sorry if I am, um, butchering the name. But if you want to hit her up and see what's up with her, you could go ahead and do that. 
Um, you guys are going to be seeing more of his story because, of course, the graphic novel movie coming out as well. You know, Ephraim is on the road um, to creating his own graphic novel. Um, when it comes out, we're going to be giving you the details here on the channel so you can know where to pick it up, where to pick up that physical copy or the digital copy if you want to, so you can enjoy the full story of Historia. That's just the beginning. That was just the beginning. Oh, my God. You know this is coming in spicy. So, yeah. I mean, that's really it. Do you want to say anything, Ephraim? No, I mean, shoot, you already got me hyped and hyped up and everything. <laughs> oh, you know it, man. You know it. The hype is real. But other than that, man, I got some work I got to do tonight because this novel yes. ain't going to finish it itself. I'm about almost done with it anyway. Yes, I'm, I'm still about... lettering myself on me, the mumby. I got a couple of pages to go. Yeah. Yeah, so that's one thing. But, yeah, guys, um, Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, if you want to stay around, stay tuned. Some good stuff is coming in. If you want to see a couple of more of my artwork, um, there's a lot of videos that I've done with a lot of different artwork. If you want to check me out on Instagram, you can. It's slap underscore punch underscore visuals. And you can check me out through there. So, yeah. But, yeah, there's your boy, Gabby. There's your boy, Ephraim Broughton over here, the author of Historia. You know it. You already know it. Peace out. Stay safe. Peace. Peace, peace, Yugi. <laughs> peace, Yugi. <laughs>